So we are going to do a product research freestyle where I'm going to try to find another product. What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Pat Harris and if you are new to the channel, I share tips that help with my own Amazon business so I can help others out. I also like to share videos related to the stock market, the economy, anything to do with making money online. I like to try out different experiments and see if they actually work. So if you like this type of content, make sure to hit that like button, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon. And just for doing that, I do a giveaway at the end of every month where you have a chance to win my Amazon FBA course or a hundred dollar prize. So we actually have a winner for the month of October and it is David L. And all you have to do is message me down below, David, and I'll send you the money or the course. But that's all you have to do is engage on my channel, leave a comment, like the videos, and you will have a chance to win at the end of every month. But let's get into the video. So in this video, I know product research is very hard to find products to sell on Amazon. It takes a long time. So we are gonna do a product research freestyle where I'm gonna try to find another product to sell on Amazon. I'm gonna show you what I look for and kind of do a quick video on how to find products using Helium 10 black box and then hopefully by the end of the video I'll find a good product to sell on Amazon or at least a pretty good product that we could probably sell or differentiate so let's get into my computer right now and do some product research and see what we could find within 10 minutes let's go all right guys so here we are we're gonna be using helium 10 and we're gonna try to find a good product within 10 minutes but just remember it can take up to months to actually find a good product product research is very hard it gets frustrating because a lot of people sell the same products and it's very important to find a good product but it can take a lot of time so don't think you're gonna find a product within 10 minutes but hopefully my video will help you find a good product and kind of show you how I find good products but I don't find products within 10 minutes just the research alone can take up to an hour but for YouTube purposes I want to keep the video under 10 minutes so let's get into it right now and see what we could find within 10 minutes and hopefully it can help you find a good product so first off if you don't have helium 10 I have a discount code down below and it's gonna save you 50% off all you do is enter the code right here and it should take it to half off um it's half off for the first month or 10 percent off every month so keep that in mind if you want to try out helium 10 check out that link but let's pull up helium 10 right now and break down how to find a good product all right so i'm logged into helium 10 i'm going to go to their product research tab right here and we're going to be using black box so black box is used to find products if you've never heard of it um they have a product tab right here this is where you enter all of your information if you want to find a product but for this video i'll be using the keywords tab i like to use this tab the most and this is where you're gonna put all of the information for the keywords that customers are searching so right here you're gonna put in the search volume so I want to have a product that gets searched over 23,943 times a month I like to put random numbers in these boxes so the chances of someone else typing out the same thing are really slim if I put in 23,000 then other people are probably typing in that same information and we don't want to find the same products that others are finding um, so I'm gonna put that there I'm gonna do the review count to 360 and I'm gonna do the shipping tier size to small standard size I want to sell a small product and then I'm gonna hit search right here now these are all the products that it's gonna pull up for that information that I typed in you could put a lot of other stuff in here but I'm just doing the bare minimum so we're gonna come down here and see what we could find it is around the holidays so you're gonna see a lot of Christmas and October like Halloween stuff and COVID is going on so we're probably gonna see some of those products which isn't bad but just keep that in mind when you're doing your research and we're gonna just scroll through here and see what we could find um so stencils for painting on wood they're doing 8,000 a month and they only have 153 reviews which isn't that high compared to a lot of other sellers these days and they're getting searched over 27,000 times a month so we're gonna look at these I'm gonna have it on Amazon and we'll come back to it um let's come down here butterfly earrings I'm not sure what those are let's keep going down here 20 fe case the iPhone 12 just came out so there's a lot of iPhone accessories which I don't like to sell because phones are always cheap changing and it's very competitive um actually this product pulled up in another video that i did but we'll pull it up here they're doing thirty-one thousand dollars a month with only 314 reviews and this keyword right here snowflake multi-tool is getting searched over ninety thousand times a month so i've never heard of this tool except for in my other video um, but we're gonna pull it up right here on amazon and we'll come back to it and then we're gonna keep going we're gonna try to find like four or five different products um let's keep going here i know you probably get bored of me scrolling so i'm gonna speed it up. 
All right, so I'm gonna keep scrolling through here and see if anything pops up that I like. Um, like mask, chain, there is 45,000 monthly searches. They're doing $27,000 a month in revenue with 255 reviews, so we're gonna see what that is. And we'll find one or two more. Let's keep going. Iron on letters, um, probably for Halloween costumes, I'm not sure, but let's keep going down here. And there's a couple more pages I want to go through to see if we could find anything else. Again, I'm freestyling, so I don't even know what I'm going to find. Mask Lanyard, 179,000 monthly searches. They're doing 34,000 a month in revenue with only 195 reviews. So we'll look at that. It's not a bad idea to sell like trending products, but you want to just remember that it's not a good long-term product because COVID will eventually go away, but I guarantee it's probably going to be around for at least another year. So you can sell that product if you want to make a quick buck, um, but it does get competitive and a lot of new people are jumping on because they see this data and they think, wow, I could sell that product and make a ton of money fast. So keep that in mind, but we're going to keep scrolling through here and see if we could find one or two more products. Um, I'll go to page five, Google, Godfather, Eva, Clear mask dab tool i'm not sure what that is they're not doing that great revenue so i'm not going to look at that uh, let's see if we can find at least one more there's always a lot of random products on here so you're not going to want to look at all of these as you could tell a lot of these things are related to phones and movies but you get a random product to pop up in between every once in a while so that's what you want to keep an eye out for um so like mask lanyards for women 26,000 monthly searches they're doing almost forty thousand dollars a month in revenue and maybe I'll look at one more, if there is one more. I'm gonna go on this page. If there's nothing on here, then we're gonna move on. Halloween, Zombieland, nail stickers. So nail stickers get searched 152,000 times a month on Amazon. And these ones are only doing $7,800 a month in revenue, but we'll add that. So we're gonna come right here to nail stickers and see what they are. So they are little stickers that go on nails, but I could see this one has over a thousand reviews, so it's gonna be hard to compete. Um, but there are people on page one with only 21 reviews, so that's a good sign. These are like different designs, so you can differentiate the item. Here's other sellers with low reviews on page one, so that's a good sign that it's not too competitive, but there are sellers in the thousands of reviews. Um, so we're gonna pull up Helium 10 X x-ray and see what the numbers are on those low reviewed sellers and we can see right here there's 152,000 monthly searches which means that these nail stickers are really in demand um, but the average revenue is pretty low so we're going to come down here and we are going to look at the low reviewed products so this one has 42 reviews and they're doing $5,500 a month which isn't bad but then you could come right here and these people have like two or six reviews and they're doing about 3,000 a month, which again isn't bad for nail stickers, but you'd wanna look further into it. Like these people right here have zero reviews. Obviously they just launched, so they are getting some sales, but not many. And I like to keep scrolling down here and look at all of these other sellers down here. Um, this person has 300 reviews. They only do 7,400 a month. 129 reviews, only 1,400 a month. So I'm not sure if I would go with this product. It is pretty competitive with these top sellers that have over 1,000 reviews. And they're only doing $15,000 a month in revenue. So I like to see that number a lot higher than that if they have over 1,000 reviews because it could take a couple years to get that many reviews. Um, so I wouldn't go with this product, but it does have high search volume and good demand. But but again, the price is pretty low. There's high reviews on some of those top sellers. And then if you look at some of the new sellers, they do decent in revenue, um, but I'm not sure how I would differentiate nail stickers. I don't really wear like nail polish or put stickers on my nails. So if you're a girl, maybe you have an idea with this product, um, but that is one product that pulled up for black box and let's look at the next one. So these are mask lanyards for women. So we're gonna pull up Helium 10 X-Ray and see what all these sellers are doing, all of their numbers. And right here, you can see it gets searched over 20,000 times a month which is pretty good and then we're going to come down here we always want to look at the reviews because that tells you how competitive it is so we're going to come down here and this person has 40 reviews they're doing 9,000 a month 50 reviews they're doing 5,000 a month um, zero reviews they're brand new right here so we can't look at those and then if you come down here there's a lot of sellers on page one with low reviews so I like to see that so like this one has 30 reviews they're doing over 7,000 a month 40 reviews they're doing over 7,000 a month so you get the point so you want to come down here there are sellers that 
that have low reviews, but they also have low revenue. So you want to look at these different sellers. Um, but you can tell a lot of new sellers are popping in here. So like all these new ones with low reviews, they are just starting out. They're doing a little over a thousand dollars a month. So this market is probably going to get flooded because COVID hasn't been around for too long. So new sellers are still popping in. Um, but you can sell this product. It's probably going to be good for about another year until COVID gets cured. But again, it could go on for longer than that. We don't know when a vaccine is coming out. So this is a trending product and we don't know how long it will last. So if you want a long-term product, don't go for this one. But if you want to launch a product and try to make money on it, you can go for a product like this. Again, here's mask lanyard, which is the same thing, but with higher surge volume. And you can see all of these new sellers popping in with low reviews. So we already looked at that. So we're going to skip this one and then we're going to come right here. So this is a mask chain, which is basically a lanyard, but it's a chain instead of like the rope material. And you can see these sellers up here have low reviews. Um, so that's a pretty good sign. Like this one only has 42 reviews and they're on page one. So I'll run Helium 10 X-Ray and see what all of the sellers are doing in revenue. So right here, you can see it gets searched over 45,000 times a month and the average reviews are pretty low right here. So we're going to come over here. We're going to look at the review count and we could see like new sellers are doing around 2,000 a month, 6,000 a month, 14,000 a month, 5,000 a month, um, 3,000 a month with only 19 reviews. So some of these new sellers are doing pretty well. Um, like right down here, this one only has 38 reviews and they're doing $11,000 a month. 44 reviews, they're doing $16,000 a month. So this is a pretty good product. But how can you differentiate this product from what's already on here? Some of these are like rose gold. I'm not really good with jewelry. But if you could come up with some kind of design, like a necklace that goes around your mask, like a designer necklace, then you could sell this product. Keep in mind, COVID isn't going to last forever. So in about five years, this product won't sell well. But for the next year, it should do pretty good based on these numbers. So that's another decent product doing well with low reviews. I um, mean, then we'll come to this one. I actually found this one on another video that I did, um, but it's like a little tool that's really small and it's a good product because there's no moving parts. It's small. It's probably cheap to make, but there are a lot of new competitors popping up and they all kind of look the same different colors. This one could be a gift. This one has over a thousand reviews, so that's going to be pretty competitive, but we're going to run the numbers just to see what they are doing. Um, so right here, you can see it gets searched over 90,000 times a month on Amazon and we're going to come down here and look at the revenue of the new sellers on here. So this person only has 18 reviews and they're doing over $12,000 a month. Um, this one has zero revenue. Maybe they're out of stock, but all of these sellers with low revenue are doing pretty good. Like this one right here has 36 reviews and they're doing $24,000 a month in revenue and their price is pretty high. So we want to look at that one. So it comes in like a multi-pack it looks like and $21.99. I bet these things probably cost a dollar or two to make. So that is a pretty good product right there. They're doing a multi-pack. Um, some of these other sellers down here only two reviews and they're already doing $3,600 a month. This one has six reviews. They're doing $4,300 a month. So this product is probably going to get flooded with new competition because it's popping up on Helium 10, but it is a pretty good product based on these numbers of the low reviewed products. Um, I'll keep coming down here towards the end of page one. So like this one has eight reviews and they're doing about 1,500. Three reviews, they're doing about 2,700. There are a lot of new sellers with zero reviews. So you can tell it's getting more competitive, but there are some sellers doing decent. So if you wanted to sell this product, you could go for it. I'm not sure if it's a new trend. I'd have to look at all the other things that I look at, different keywords, different trends and all of that. But that is one product that popped up using black box and the keyword tab. And then we have one more product right here. And I think our time limit is coming up. So I'm going to try to end it off of this one. Uh, but you could see these are probably seasonal for like Halloween and Christmas, but they have low reviews on page one. So we're going to run the numbers on these and see what they are doing in sales. So there's 27,000 monthly searches on these and we're going to come down here and see what the new sellers are doing. So like this one has 15 reviews. They're doing $3,800 a month, 59 reviews. They're doing 6,000 a month, 26 reviews. They're doing $15,000 a month. So all of these sellers are doing pretty well with low reviews. That's a good sign. It's not going to be too hard to rank for. The average reviews are under 200. So that's good. Um, there's not too many sellers with over a thousand reviews. I don't think there's any on um, this one's pretty close, but it's not over a thousand, but they are doing pretty low revenue. So you wouldn't want to do what they're doing. I don't know what it is. Oh, it's like a cheap looking snowflake or flower. Um, but all of these sellers down here that have 200 to 400 reviews, they're only doing about one to 4,000 in revenue. So I don't know why they're not doing that great. But the other sellers that have low reviews are doing decent like this one, 21 reviews and they're doing 4,100 a month. So you always want to look and see what they are because this one's like seasonal. So it's probably doing good because it was just Halloween. So when you're doing your product research, you want to look at the actual products that are doing well and then see how you could 
replicate those but differentiate them so they're not the same exact product but you don't want to look at these products that have low reviews and they're not doing that well like like this one we don't know when they launched though we could look at their chart but i'm not gonna but they have zero reviews and they're only doing 700 a month and it looks like it's just letters but that is a basic rundown of how i do product research obviously i look at a lot more i spend way more time and i do that on my product validator service if you want to check that out down below but just remember it's going to take a lot longer than 10 minutes to find a product but this video was to give you a good idea on what i look for and kind of scroll through the different numbers of what i look at as i'm doing product research a freestyle type video but hopefully you enjoyed the video again if you want to try out helium 10 check out the discount codes down below and also join my free amazon fba facebook community that link is down below and i have a ton of other product research tutorials if you want to check those out but that is it for now hopefully you liked this video if you did like this video subscribe to the channel hit the bell icon and david if you're still watching the video make sure to message me so i could send you the prize and for all the others out there all you have to do is what david did he commented and liked the video so i picked him as a winner but that is it for this video. I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.